Welcome back to our Holcroft Nissan YouTube channel. This time it's the bite-sized review of the Nissan X-Trail N-Tech. So this particular N-Tech model that we're looking at has got a 1.7 diesel engine. It's 150 brake horsepower and again a combined MPG of 47.5. We look at the car just from the front, it's got a striking, striking stance on it. This recognised signature V-Motion grille with the intelligent emergency braking radar within the glass fronted Nissan badge. Front parking sensors, LED daytime running lights, front fog lights and this lovely little chrome splitter down the front here as well. Moving on to the side of the uh, Nissan X-Trail. The N-Tech is very, very unique in the fact that it's got these lovely black alloy wheels. They're 18 inch with a nice big chunk of rubber on there for a nice comfy ride as well. That black finish is also highlighted in the door mirrors and to the roof bars as well. Now most X-Trails and this one in particular does have an intelligent key function as well. So as long as they've got the key on you, put it on the side, we'll open it up and then you can get inside. So once inside the X-Trail, first thing you notice is actually how roomy the cockpit is. It's a nice big space, plenty of headroom. The keys, you can just place in one of the trays you've got here. You've also got this beautiful uh, panoramic roof that when you open that really uh, puts a lot more light into the cockpit. It's got a sunroof as well, which is a nice feature to have. Um, it's a six speed manual box uh, with a reversing camera and a 360 degree camera as well. So when you put it into reverse, it'll give you a bird's eye view that allows you then to see, especially when you're maneuvering in tight spaces around car parks, just exactly where you are. Storage wise, plenty of space, this leather finish on the top, nice big bucket there to put plenty of stuff in. You've got two cup holders, you've got a little space there for a wallet or phone, you've got again where we put the keys there. Um, so been nice big deep door pockets as well. Um, the other features that we that we notice here, electronic handbrake with hill hold as well. So when you're holding on a hill, that's a real nice feature. You then got dual air conditioning as well, so passenger or driver can be at different temperatures. And then moving on to your satellite navigation system. Not only is the screen used for your reversing camera and your 360, it's used for your map as well and your navigation. This one's also got DAB radio as well, so plenty of channels to choose from and a CD player as well. Moving on to the steering wheel, as I mentioned in another video, I do have quite big thighs, but this D-shaped steering wheel is perfect. It just gives you that little bit more cutaway there for maneuverability. The steering wheel itself is leather wrapped and really comfortable to hold. It's very, very tactile as well. On this side, you've got all your controls here for the radio, volume and, and, and track selection. And on this side here, you've got your adaptive cruise control and your phone, uh, phone answering and, and, uh, and call monitoring on there as well. We're having a quick drive of the new uh, 1.7 diesel Entech. Now straight away, you can tell it's a diesel. It's got a little bit of a throaty uh, uh, engine note, but nothing you wouldn't expect. Uh, very, very comfortable to ride. Lovely drive. The steering is very light and effortless for a big car as well, which is which is nice. Again, the space does make it feel like a real big, nice family car, which is really, really, really beneficial. Now the 1.7 is 150 brake horsepower, um, so it does have quite a bit of poke about it. Uh, nice amount of torque as well. Um, so even in a lower gear, you can really find yourself pulling along very, very nicely. Um, we really like this car. We rate it a lot um, for space, functionality, practicality. Great family car, great for camping, great for caravanning, great for pretty much most things. Really. So just before we move outside, I just want to open the boot from inside, which is quite a lovely little feature. Just underneath here, you've got your electronic tailgate button. You push and hold that in, the rear tailgate will open up and I'll meet you outside. So the Nissan X-Trail N-Tech has got a load of space in the boot. Now this particular model is a five seat. If it was a seven seat, you'd have two extra seats in here as well. It could also fold down to create similar space. This tonneau cover here for security, it just rolls back and folds out. You can also release that and it'll fit within the, the, the space in the boot here as well. Now, there's 14 different configurations you can have with this boot. Obviously on our bite size review, we won't go into all of them. Just my favorite, which is either a flat floor by taking these completely out and lowering them down, or standing that one up nice and straight, and then you get all your shopping into that space there as well. To close the boot, it's just nice and simple operation. I'll just 
just pressing that button there. So there's our bike size review on the Nissan X-Trail N-Tech. This car has got a lot to offer. It's got a brilliant family size vehicle, lots of space and lots of functionality about it. If you'd like to see any more reviews, please stay tuned to our YouTube channel or subscribe following the links below. We hope to see you on many more videos. Thank you very much.